Namaste yoga friends. Welcome to today's Kids Yoga Meets Astrology. My name is Doreen Foxwell and today we're going to talk about the zodiac sign of Gemini. As of yesterday, we went from the zodiac sign Taurus into the zodiac sign Gemini. Gemini is known as the twins of the zodiac. Um, the dark, the light, the two different sides. Let's say the good twin, the bad twin. <laughs> but um, it's about dual duality. And going into Gemini season brings a totally different feeling than when we were in Taurus season. Now, this is all Western astrology today I'm going to speak of. Sometimes I speak of Vedic astrology. Western astrology is what I'm speaking of today. It's the one a lot more well known here in the States and um, that a lot more people follow even when they look at their horoscope. It's based more on Western astrology. And so I've got my twin yoga bears today or many teddies. I've got my twin Buddhas today. I don't have a twin, so you're just stuck with me. But let's talk about Gemini and the differences between the two energies because it is an energy shift that your child might be feeling. We went from Taurus, which is a very slow, the probably the slowest moving sign in the whole zodiac as far as anything, as far as change and decisions and work, although they do the work. You know, they, they do not rush things. Now you've gone into Gemini. Well, guess what? Gemini is what's known as an air sign. It's an element. And air signs are very fast. Fast talkers. Lots of talking. Very, very, very chatty. And so your children might feel this energy to continuously Talk when they're in the car with you. Talk at home. Talk through your TV shows if you watch TV. Talk all throughout dinner. Talk, 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 talk. It's a beautiful thing. And chatty, 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 chatty. You see, Aries is the baby of the air signs. It's the first of the air signs of the astrology new year. So sometimes they, they can't control those impulses and urges to speak. They constantly speak. And so just know that even if you're feeling a lot more chatty and you need to talk more to your best friend, your good friends, your spouse, your partner, there's a reason you, you are feeling part of that Gemini energy. Gemini is also what we call in astrology ruled by the planet Mercury. Mercury's the fastest moving planet. So it's going to feel a lot different than the month we just came out of. And when I say month, I don't mean the 1st to the 30th or 31st. Our uh, zodiac signs, they start halfway, a little over halfway through the month usually. This time Gemini started on May 20th. Usually most years it'll start on May 21st. So I'm coming to you on May 21st. It just depends on when things fall. And so, happy Gemini season to all the beautiful Geminis out there. Now, Geminis may get bored very easily. So that's something to keep in mind if you're a teacher like me with the kids. You have to keep things moving quickly, okay? If you are going even on a vacation, going on a vacation during Gemini time, great time as far as... It's beautiful out. The beaches are wonderful. It's not yet 100 degrees and stuff. But I would say that's the time you do lots of different activities. You don't just lay on the beach because your kids are going to be the ones, we're bored. I have nothing to do. Are we going to go anywhere? Not a good time for a beach vacation for kids if you don't have activities planned. So keep that in mind if you're planning your vacation in the next 28 to 30-ish days. I think Gemini seems 28 days. Um, so the last thing I want to share with you about Gemini and, and Gemini season is the fact that to use the Gemini energy 
for you and for your child, this would definitely be the time to come up with new ideas, great ideas. What we call in the business world masterminding. It's a great time to mastermind and everybody can kind of contribute and say an idea in mastermind groups, let's say. Um, so that's a positive you can use. When it comes to your children, this will be a time that they usually won't be sullen and withdrawn. This is a time that they usually will share what they're feeling or you'll be able to get it out of them if you can tell something's bothering them. Something's off, something's just not right, ask them. During Gemini season, they usually will start to feel more open to sharing that with you. And so the very last thing I want to share with you as adults, there are certain areas of our body that you might have to be concerned about during Gemini season. Your hands, that's one of them. So shake those hands for a moment. Shake those hands. Your shoulders, that's another area. Do some shoulder shrugs. You see every zodiac sign has body areas that are affected more than others. Very nice shoulder shrugs. Um, your complete nervous system from head to toe, you know, the nervous system runs through your whole body. And so your nervous system, which anything you do in yoga helps your nervous system, whether you're meditating, even for those of you who don't do yoga, who might be in prayer, same thing, okay? All different ways to meditate. I have one of my meditatees meditating, one twin meditating, one of my meditatees, woohoo, out in a, in a great pose, in a fun pose. And that's the other thing about Gemini, they're fun. They're lots of fun. They're not the type to sit home. So as they get older, as your children get older, uh, don't expect them to be sitting home they're not going to be. <laughs> so, okay. That's, I think, everything I wanted to share today about Gemini. I hope that you have an awesome Gemini season. Enjoy the light and airy feel of the Gemini season. And I will see you probably the next few days because we have a full moon coming. And that full moon will also amplify the Gemini energy, but it's a totally different energy this full moon. So I'll come in in a few days to talk about that one. Namaste. Have a great yoga.